So today I'll be showing you how to use the action button on your iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Pro. So the action button is this button, which used to be a switch on all the iPhones from iPhone 14 all the way backwards. This used to be a switch that you could push down and push up, but now it's a button and it's called the action button. Okay. So to use this action button, just long press on it to activate it. So if I long press on it, it turns on silent mode. And if I long press on it, it turns off silent mode. Okay. Now, if I press once, it just shows me the current status of whatever I've set it to. So currently you can see if I press it once, it's on ring mode. And if I press it again, it still tells me it's on ring mode. But if I press and hold, it changes to silent mode. And now I press once, it tells me it's in silent mode. So basically when you press it once, it tells you what it is. Now this action button is actually customizable on the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pros. You can actually set it to do something else besides uh, turning silent mode on or off. And to do that, just go to settings. So on the settings page, scroll down and you should see action button. So tap on that. And then as you can see, it's currently set to silent mode. You can switch it to something else. So for instance, you can change it to become a focus button to change focus modes or to enable and disable different focus modes. You can change it to a camera button to launch the camera. You can change it to a torch. You can change it to voice memos. You can have it uh, use Shazam, which is a third party tool actually. And you can set it to all these things. Okay. You can even create a shortcut. Okay. So you can change, you can change it to a shortcut button and then you can choose which shortcut you want it to activate when you launch it. So let's, for instance, say you want to change it to voice memos. Okay. So just select that and then exit. So now when you press that button, it tells you what it does. You can see there, but if you long press, it actually starts recording voice memos. And if you long press again, it stops recording and saves your voice memo. So you can always go back to the settings page and change it to something else like the touch. So press it once, it doesn't work. If you long press on it, it turns on the flashlight or the touch. Okay. Long press on it again, turns off the flashlight. So you can change it or you can customize it to do what you want it to do. Okay. Of course, there are a few options or I mean, a few limitations, but it basically does most of the stuff you need it to do. You can actually customize it even with shortcuts to do most of what you need it to do. So that is basically how to use the action button on the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro models. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like and maybe even subscribe for more tips. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for your time.